Hey guys, it's Adam, and I've got a different type of video today. What I got is a board that I sold recently that was damaged when the owner of it tried to upgrade from the original Raspberry Pi Zero to the new Raspberry Pi Zero 2. When they removed the original Pi from it, they snapped off the entire 40 pin female header and even ripped a few pads off of the board. After looking at it, I'm guessing that when they soldered the original Pi, some flux or solder dripped down into the header and locked everything together. And then I'm guessing they put a lot of force in the pie trying to remove it, and the female header snapped. It looks repairable, so that's what I'm doing in this video. First, I'm going to clean up the mess, then I'll repair the damage, and then finally I'll replace the header and also replace the pins on the Raspberry Pi Zero 2. Now that everything's cleaned up, the damage is more visible. It looks like the three pads on the top are mostly missing, but there is enough pad left to solder the pins on the header, so I'm going to attempt that. These two traces headed down are just for me when I'm testing the boards after building them, so there's no reason to repair those. This one on the left though is important and it's used for the LCD, so that one's getting repaired. All right, the repair is done. So now I'm just reassembling everything and I'm gonna install a new header in the Raspberry Pi. My microscope filming setup kind of sucks, so I can't film this part, but this is pretty straightforward. And that's it, it's back up and running. 
Now I'll ship this back to the customer. Thanks for watching. Have a good one, guys.